If you're using Playwright for API testing or monitoring, you might know that validating responses that include unknown fields can be a little bit tricky. Let me show you an example. I have here the JSON response of an API endpoint that I have running locally. The response includes some fake dummy data. So we have here a name, we have a stock, we have an is delicious flag. And the only thing that stays the same when I refresh will be this ID field. So when we now refresh, we see that here one, two, three stays the same, but all the other fields are constantly changing. How could we test this endpoint where we don't know specific values, but rather only the data types coming back from this API endpoint? We could now reach for a JSON validation library, but today I learned that Playwright supports some very basic schema validation too. So we have here a test case that already makes the request to my locally running endpoint. Then we're parsing the JSON. And here again is the data that we expect to come back. We know that ID will be one, two, three, but for the other fields, we only know their data type. So name will be a string, related fruit will be an array, stock will be a number, and so on. I already added the assertion for the ID property. And when we now go to the terminal and run npx playwright test to run our playwright test here. And if you haven't seen PW test watch, this is a playwright preview feature to enable watch mode right on the command line. And I'm a big fan here. So everything's green now. So let's extend our playwright test case and validate that name is a string, is delicious, is a boolean, and so on. We could now check the value types manually, but check this out. If we want to check that, for example, the name property is of type string, we can go in here, we can say expect body name to equal, and now check this out, expect any, and we give it the string constructor. So let's hit save, and here we go. We still have a passing test case. And the same approach works for the other properties. So we can check that related fruit is of type array or that is delicious, is delicious, is of type Boolean. Here we go. So expect any is like a mini type checker or a schema validator that checks if a value was created with a particular constructor. And that's already pretty cool, but this here is still a lot to type. So let's make that a little bit nicer and pair our expect any with to match object. And this here almost looks like proper schema validation, doesn't it? Be aware that this only works for simple cases, right? So we can only say that we have an array, not an array of strings. But for quick checking an API response, I think this is super nice.